Hello everyone, my name is John Marisundra and today I'm going to teach you on how to paint this wonderful small painting. So uh, my subject for today everyone will be a, a bit different from my usual uh, painting tutorials. I'm going to paint a miniature painting today and I'm going to put a barn and the trees there. It will be very simple because uh, we are dealing it with a very very small details on this uh, painting. So yeah. I think I'm very very excited and I hope that I can give justice to this one and yeah I'm, uh, I hope that it will be great so just be with me and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed it and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notifications on my new videos and tutorials okay you can see also the materials in the screen but consider five the colors the brushes that we and all the things that we have to paint this painting okay so I'm gonna start now so I think this will just be a short tutorial for because uh, of course, we can finish it faster because it's a small painting. Okay, so yeah, I'll just use three brushes today. This three common brushes: um, medium size flat brush, small size size flat brush, and I have here the liner brush zero. Okay, so because we are painting a small uh, canvas on a small canvas, so okay, we don't need big brushes. So here, first, I'm gonna mix. For the blue and the white. For the sky, yeah. It's okay for us to cover some parts there. A little bit of white. Yeah, we can see some of the uh, clouds also. Sorry. Yeah, sometimes. You have to mount it everyone because yeah, we cannot stop yeah, it can drop it because, yeah, we stop. there and then on the background we can put some forest so I am using the raw umber and the yellow only yeah to create the background forest Yellow and the raw umber. Yeah. Now you can make it a little bit dark. Raw umber and the blue. With yellow on the lumber. You can create a bit darker greens. Don't worry everyone, cover some parts of our of our uh, trees or our uh, trees on the side so it's okay you can also put some reds or orange a little bit of orange there okay because uh, I'm planning to make this an, a little bit an autumn an autumn landscape Yeah, I can put a bit of uh, three leaves here. There, okay. Just a combination of plenty of colors. And boom, you can create beautiful textures. Okay. There. 
I'm gonna make the field a little bit of orange. So here, everyone. You have to be very, very careful also. Because we are painting in a small canvas. I just have to make everything solid in the background. And then I will try to add some details on the leaves. So I'm gonna use this small brush everyone. The smallest flat brush. I have the yellow and the red, a little bit of greenish also, and then white, something like a yellow green, and then we can do slowly tapping technique. It's a beautiful forest in the background. A little bit yellowish also I can put there. Okay, and I'll try a bit of uh, yellowish here. like the line everyone on the back okay now let's try to paint something on the house I'll try to make it a red house so first I'm gonna try this blue umber on the red with a little bit of yellow I will just try to cover it with the paints. There. And then uh, maybe in the roof something like uh, an old, an old roof. A little bit brownish. Okay, and in here, I was just try to make it darker. Yeah, so make it dry first. And I'm thinking where I'm gonna put my lights. 
Okay, yeah. I think I'm gonna put my lights uh, better on the left side. Yeah, maybe. Uh, on the front side, something like that. Okay, so this will be my plan. So, sorry about the dog, if I'm to put off uh, my seat dog. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make this part a little bit darker. And also this one here. I'm gonna make it darker here. And here one, I will try to darken. In the background. But we can also add some trees there, if you want to. Okay, I will try now to use the smallest brush I have. Yeah, I'll just try to add uh, some darks first. So sorry about this. It is a bit challenging also, but I like challenge. Dark also here. Yeah, here also make it dark. There. Okay, I'm gonna mix for a bit of yellow. I'm not, I'm not sure everyone, but I, I tried. Uh, maybe I will make my house white here. Yeah, so that I can have. Yeah, uh, just try to change the color. Maybe a little bit of pink. A bit of yellow. There, I like that. Yeah, that's good. lighter I try to create the details here but it's very very small and I'll make it brighter here And even here, okay. Okay, there's an emergency right now. I hope everyone's fine, okay. And then I'm gonna try this a little bit of flesh color, right? Okay, so over here. Yeah. 
Make sure that uh, your bus is pointed, everyone. Okay. Yeah, on the other side, I'll just use this raw umber and white. Something like that. A little bit of details, and even here. Yeah, and even on the roof, everyone, I'll try to make it red. Red, orange, something like that. A bit of orange also. Put it on the roof. Put a chimney there. Chimney will be a little bit of a grey. in an emergency right now. Okay. I'm gonna need to clean my brush. And then I have here the blue and the white. So I like the blue door. blue there so you can see now the blue door is very obvious I can see it clearly there okay so I'll try to use some pure white, everyone. I can put it here. On a blue door, and also on the blue, on the window. put a little bit of tinier details make it lighter in color so it look like uh, it hit by a very nice light from the sun of course okay now we can try it's almost done everyone it's just very very quick painting I also put a pathway here Okay, so on the pathway, I just use this raw umber and then white. that I will mix a lighter orange
they are. And then you can put now some greenish color. I have here the green. I am using now the brush, a small brush. And I, we, we have here the yellow green. Just tapping technique, everyone. This is the small flat brush. There. Or yellow. There, okay. You do not need to fill everything. Okay, the last part, everyone. I'm going. I'm gonna try to put these three. Uh, blue umber and then white. The three that I have drawn. Okay. So I'll just put this one first. Okay. Also here. There. Okay. And I have here the raw umber. Just uh, make it dark, everyone. Make it. Uh, Make it the uh, base start, okay? I just need to put some branch. Actually, it's very challenging to put branches here because this is too small. I need a smaller brush for this one again. Make sure that you make the brush flat. There. And then we have to put our uh, leaves. I want it to be red. Yeah, why not? Red and orange, red and yellow. Just something to make. And then you can put the yellow. There. Okay. And then with everyone. I have to put more red. There. I just put uh, more red here. 
make that part uh, solid and then I will try now to add some highlights on the on the tree so I have here the lighter uh, brown And then I'll just try to retouch everyone. I am done actually. I think this is just like uh, 30 minutes. I can finish this 14 minutes everyone, but uh, it's hard to finish it faster because I have to do it slowly because this is a tutorial. I just try to create a little bit of greenish. even some red color on the pot on the crown there okay uh, almost done I'll just try to add some details or some trees also on the, on the background there okay I am done everyone I'll just try to see Okay, and then I am finished. So that's good, everyone. I like the entire result. It looks so simple, but I think uh, I like it. I like how it looks in the far because it's a small painting, everyone. You cannot expect to add really small, nice details there, but so far it looks very, very nice and perfect and good. I am enjoying, and this is very, very new to my channel. I hope that you will like it, everyone, because this is very new and I never had like this tutorial before I never paint uh, small paintings even before okay everyone so I want to say thank you for watching this video today and I hope you get something out of this and my only advice is to keep on practicing keep on painting the more you do it the more you know how to use your brush the more you will know how to mix the colors that's why I'm using limited colors of your palette because I want you to learn how to, learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want so please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God be sure. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.